suck, you jackass. Okay, we're drawing for TELUS today, so that's fun. All right, let's go, let's go. I'm trying to wake up still, you know, because the energy drink takes a bit to actually kick in. So uh, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still waking up. I don't know who this bitch is. <laughs> I don't know who she is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, so everyone knows who she is except for me. That's cool. <laughs> Two minus 30 minutes, Unga Bunga. Yeah, it's usually around the one hour mark, I think. Have water. Water's good. I don't know who this bitch is. Yeah, exactly. It's like we're going to stew in our own ignorance. It's fine. <laughs> me and you just looking at each other like, who is she? <laughs> Who she is? I don't know who she is. Got my jelly beans. We're ready to chill. And if I finish this early, which, you know, I probably will. I'm probably going to work on, like, Patreon requests or something. Because it is the end of the month, so. Mmm. Jelly beans. Alright, let's go. Jelly beans were... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know who she is, so. <laughs> All right. Fuck it, we ball. Hello. My Elma bow is hurting. Not like my tattoo, but you know, I think I've just been going ham. So the cubital is like rearing its ugly head a little bit. So I got to sleep with my arms straight today, tonight. Or I don't like wearing the brace. I know the brace helps, but I'm, I don't know. I would rather just lay on my back and not bend my arm like an idiot underneath my pillow. <laughs> Elma bow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Y'all, I've been watching This Is Us. Oh my God, I watched like seven hours of that shit today <laughs> while I was working, while I was working, okay? This is like the show I'm watching now while I'm working and I got quite a bit done. I'm taking forever on potatoes, uh, fucking one piece shit because, oh my God, it's a big, it's a big commission to be fair. So um, I'm like halfway done with it because I had other shit to do today, work-wise. So I should be done with it tomorrow, but you know, no later than this weekend, but um, my God, <laughs> Love is Blind substitute. There's so, so many episodes to watch too. It's like, it's like six seasons and like 18 episodes per season or some shit. So I've got a whole lot of shit to catch up on. <laughs> It's good. I like it. It's a it's a good bittersweet drama. You know, I like it. I like it so far. Potato holding on fine. <laughs> it's a big order. Like it, it's it's a big order. Soto's over here standing in line, just like, you know, crossing his arms, tapping his foot impatiently, booing and hissing. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, yours is Saturday, but like I have to have special time set aside for uh, traditional commissions because you guys know why that that child cannot be trusted. <laughs> to be at large while I do those kinds of commissions. So, you know, cause it's like, ooh, colorful, you know, like things I can actually touch, you know, she's gonna fuck everything up. I'm gonna color something wrong or she's gonna fuck up a line somehow. I'm just not gonna take that risk until she's a little bit older and can ha like, you know, can control herself. <laughs> I did not commission a toddler. <laughs> Hello. I feel like I had a jelly bean just now that can only be described as ketchup flavored. What the hell? <laughs> that was an experience. It was disgusting, but it's not like I'm even eating bean boozled or anything. Maybe one from the bean boozled line just like fell into the jelly bean package or something, but it tasted like ketchup. And I'm like, bro, like McDonald's ketchup, like ketchup and pickle from like a hamburger. At McDonald's, I know that's a very specific taste, but if you know, you know, that's what that jelly bean tastes like. And I'm very upset right now. <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad right now. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> you take a bite into it, it's like, ugh. <laughs> If I ever eat a ketchup bean, I'm hitting someone. <laughs> Just, you don't care who's around. The only person you wouldn't hit is your sister. <laughs> so... <laughs> You kind of just roll your fist back like, ooh, <laughs> and then you just like have to stop yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Under normal circumstances, you probably would hit her, but you know, these are special circumstances, so no hitting her. <laughs> I remember I said, I, I like made this backhanded comment at my brother when I was like seven months pregnant with my first child. 
and it hurt his feelings. And he's like, you're lucky you're pregnant because I would have punched your kidneys right now. <laughs> he always, like, he always gives me kidney shots <laughs> when I say something stupid. <laughs> I kick his shin, though. It's fine. He, like, kidney punches me and I just kick his shin. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, me and my me and my middle brother are pretty physical. Like we we throw hands, like for real. <laughs> no, no one wants to be Uncle Rager. Don't be Uncle Rager. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but women are emotional, right? As soon as the Wi-Fi or the internet starts lagging in a competitive game, y'all start hitting your mouse, slamming on your keyboards, punching holes in walls if it comes to that. Oh, but women are the irrational ones. Okay. <laughs> I have never, not once, hit any of my, like, PC peripherals or like, you know, had any physical act of aggression because the internet was being slow. I booed and hissed, that's it. I clicked my tongue and rolled my eyes so hard I could have fallen over my chair. That's the most I ever did. I didn't actually hurt anything. <laughs> but guys will do the most when, when shit starts lagging, even just a little bit, they get so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is uniquely, right, you may It's uniquely a male thing. When they start, like, breaking their controllers, I'm like, you guys must think controllers grow out of trees because <laughs> you need to calm down. <laughs> uh, the PS5 controller. Fresh from the Sony controller tree. <laughs> I'm on bullshit today. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to copium right now, so. Ah, uh, the dual shock controller, ripe from the Sony PlayStation tree. <laughs> <laughs> Don't woman explain my culture to me. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, actually. That's fair. All right, I'll I'll back off. I'll back off. <laughs> I stand corrected. You're absolutely right. I won't woman explain your <laughs> your culture. <laughs> <laughs> you won't, but I will. <laughs> Get him, you may. <laughs> I'm a sick wom woman, you may. <laughs> woman power, you may. She's gonna woman splaying everything till kingdom come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's like bro what no <laughs> Is that really, has someone actually said that? I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Andrew Tate does have a following after all. Yeah, it's still pretty bad. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
I feel like men who do the uh like oh yeah he's a beta he's a beta or i'm an alpha i'm an alpha is the equivalent to women calling other women females that it feels like that to me i don't know i don't know how to articulate it exactly but that's what it feels like to me i'm just like okay dude pump your brakes (laughs) because i've seen guys talk like that and i'm like who who are you talking to? <laughs> they say not in person. I don't think anyone has like, you know, the gall to talk like that in a public setting in person. But I see people talk or guys talk like that online. I'm just like, what are they even talking about? He cl- he 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 pounds his chest and calls himself an alpha on a tweet. <laughs> on a tweet. Okay. <laughs> I don't actually know anyone that genuinely follows or takes Andrew Tate seriously. I asked my kid about him. I'm just like, you don't watch Andrew Tate, dude. He's like, I know who he is. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, he's weird. And that that was the end of the conversation. He's like, I don't really watch him. He seems weird. And I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> My kid is one of those like, all right, he's saying too many words. This is boring. (laughs) And he just like moves on. He just doesn't like his attitude and his cadence. He's like, I'm not even going to try to listen to this guy. So, and he goes back to silly, like little harmless TikTok memes and whatever. So, yeah. (laughs) I would be so disappointed if I raised like... You know what I don't understand? I actually know people who have, or not people, but like men mostly, men specifically, who have been raised by a single mother and immigrants to boot, but they're still like pro-Trump in the war. I mean, it's so bad. It's like shitty, but they they support Trump in like the worst way, not because of like policy, but because of like, uh, you know, um... I suppose, like, personality uh, profile, where I I just, it's mind-blowing to me, because I was like, how can you be a misogynist and be raised by a woman, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, and your mother's an immigrant, too, like, you grew up with a single mother, and, like, it's crazy to me. And one of their reasoning was just like, well, maybe if she like maybe if she followed the like the the plan for like nuclear families and stuff and chose better, she wouldn't have put herself in a situation where the marriage fell apart and then she had to take care of the kids her own. And I'm like, I cannot believe you just fucking said that. By the way, and for context, the like her husband was cheating on him and stuff. So, like, you know, and then he was like a dead be dead anyway. So, it's wild to me. I'm just like, she raised you, dude, by herself. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. I I don't understand how he, how anyone can have that line of thinking, really. It's like, oh, well, you know, she asked to be a single mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, and he says this to me knowing that at that time or at, at a point in time, I was a single mom. So, but, you know, he can say it to me now because I'm married. You know, like, it's weird. It's very weird. I don't know. It's like, it's just, it gives me ungrateful. You know what I mean? It's just like you, like, you saw firsthand how, how much your mom struggled. And yeah, in a perfect world, your parents still love each other and they stayed together and made it work. But that's not the case. No one asks to have, you know, shitty situations like that. Nobody asks that. It's like, it's really dumb. You know how people are like, oh my God, I don't know how people can like join cults and all that. Like, I don't think anyone willingly joins a cult. I feel like, you know, there's some sort of like, um... (laughs) street smart deficit going on for sure but i don't know i feel like um 
I, I don't know what it is. It, it's very, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't really, or, or like an anthropologist of some sort, to explain why people in society fall prey, and it's mostly women too, fall prey to um, uh, cults, but it, it happens. So I don't know. I should probably like do research on that. That seems interesting to get into. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta love the moms that raise you, right? I'm trying out here. I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. <laughs> it really is, dude. Look. My baby daddy grew up in a nuclear family. They hate each other. They hated each other. Alright? This was nuclear family. You have the mom, the dad, two children, okay? And... Um, Hold on, jelly bean stuck in my teeth. Um, the mom and dad have been together for like you know as long as they've had their kids. She would stay at home, and he like you know provided a pretty comfortable living on their one income, and they did okay. And then they were in a position where the kids could probably pursue anything they wanted. They weren't like stupidly rich, but they were well to do. So the kids could you know, pursue anything they want if they had that drive, but they were so comfortable in that nest that they never even tried to explore what they would want for themselves going out into the world and how they can contribute to society and grow as a person, as individuals. And then it got to the point where uh, when the pandemic happened and then the business fell apart and, you know, like money was start all of a sudden, you know, not as accessible and, you know, how the mighty have fallen. Everyone fell on hard times during that time. Uh, like everyone in that household turned on him like, oh, that's for you to figure out. You're the one that's supposed to figure out how to provide for the family in these like very unprecedented times. And then they bullied him and emotionally abused him to the point where he fucking kills himself. So like, it's crazy to me. It's crazy to me. Like... <laughs> Yeah, that works. And by the way, you know, it's also worth mentioning that they hadn't, like, the mom and dad didn't even sleep in the same bedrooms. So, come on now. I think that's really, I think that's a really sad state of things when, like, the parents are, like, married, but they don't really have, like, an intimate relationship. They don't even share a bed. That's kind of crazy. You'll share everything else, your living space, your children, your finances, but you won't, like, share a bed together. Not because of any medical reason or whatever, or some sort of strange preference that they have an understanding of, but just that my Apple Pencil is running out of battery, so I gotta like plug it in real quick or on top. So I'm gonna take a break right here <laughs> while that charges and talk to you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much bonkers. So. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to now. I hope they're doing terribly for how badly they bullied me, but whatever. 63% <laughs> of families in America are now considered dysfunctional. Oh, that's fun. That means that I'm in the majority. So people with the mom, dad, brother, sister, white picket fence, those people are the free. Oh, yeah, no, I can kind of see that being a thing. I don't know. I was raised by a single mother, so um, Mark was raised by Mark was raised in a nuclear family, but his parents loved each other. You know what I mean? Like they bickered, sure, and you know, like they would argue, and then they'd make up at the end of the day. You know, like they've been together forever, and they do genuinely love each other, which is cool. And you don't see that anymore. You know what I mean? So he, he grew up in the nuclear family. He was, uh, you know, he has an older sister and then, you know, they have the house and like a dog. You know, that's cool. That's great. <laughs> Is that a shrimp? <laughs> Fucking shrimp trying at any women. <laughs> but yeah, he grew up in that kind of family. And I feel like his family values are good. But I feel like some, there are some things that we don't agree on. Um, he doesn't believe in divorce. And I don't know to what extreme he doesn't believe in divorce, you know? I'm just like, so, like, <laughs> I don't understand because divorce can be a blessing to some people. I'm like, so if I cheat on you and then had, like, three bastard children outside of this marriage, you wouldn't divorce me? And he's like, no, i divorce you. I was like, so is it, like, not okay for the woman to divorce the man? And he's just like, no, that's not what I'm saying. But, you know, 
I think he's speaking just like personally though. Like he he doesn't see <laughs> he doesn't see us getting divorced like you know, not from wood, God forbid. But uh more it's more a testament of how willing he is to try to work it out with me, you know, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, not that it's even like a question. I'm just I'm just talking about like divorce in general. But um and like our differences in like uh thinking, I guess. But yeah, we have our differences for sure. I think fundamentally we have um similarities, but we're still like in a lot of ways two very different people. Not just personality-wise, but some of our beliefs are not so different that we don't get along, but our fundamentals are at least still there. I grew up in a nuclear family that broke up the second I was able to support myself. Oh my god. So I made people oh my god, that's terrible. Opposites attract to Yeah, I know. Like there's a benefit to having like a different point of view from another person. But when it becomes contentious, that's probably like not a good framework for a long time long term relationship. <laughs> but it's never been that way, honestly. <laughs> That sucks. I had a single mom. Me and my brothers basically raised ourselves because she was like, she was distracted. She was kind of just like doing her own thing, you know. And she was kind of like, um, I don't know. She just was, she was a very forgetful parent. Mm -hmm. Middle school is rough. Like having your parents like just... Having a family fallout like that during your formative years can't be easy. Man, I did the single mom thing for a little. That fucking sucked. Would not wish that on anyone. <laughs> I just charged already, damn it. Thirty-eight percent. And give a little more time. That's one thing I don't like about um. Oh, no wonder it's at 20%. I've been drawing all day. <laughs> oh, your dad passed away when you were two? Oh, no. That's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I don't... <laughs> like, the, the, the Apple Pencil runs out of battery faster, too. Because it has, like, haptic and shit. And I'm like, what is this? It's a nice pencil, though. It still doesn't take that long to... I'm just spoiled from the old Apple Pencil because I would charge it for like 10 minutes and be charged for like days. But it was like a more simple device, honestly. <laughs> Divorced her husband and my... Oh, okay. That's cool. Dance the lights. Oh, my Elma bow. It's starting to hurt a little bit. I sleep with my elbow not bent tonight. Tonight. So. <laughs> I'm extra silly today. I don't know why. Probably because I've been watching This Is Us all day and I've been stuck with these kids. Not these kids. Mostly the gremlina. The boy doesn't bug me. Elma bow. <laughs> How is Mr. Noodle? Elmo. Oh, I'm like, what? Are you talking about like a penis right now? Bro. <laughs> Mr. Noodle. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. Sorry. <laughs> That's armed with a record. I didn't I didn't watch Sesame Street. I was like too old for that. Well, I wasn't too old for that shit actually. <laughs> Sesame Streets have been around since like the 70s, I think. <laughs> I charged that. Almost 47%. Let's go. I'm gonna draw with my finger. See if I can draw with my finger. Set tool to use with finger. Double tap the set. No. Mm 
I'm trying to draw my finger. Can I draw with my finger? Huh, I'm trying to make it so I can, because that'd be funny. <laughs> Use tools of finger. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Oh, that's, I don't know. That's not going to be good, I think. We'll do it. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to draw with my finger. Let's go. Oh, my God. I'm finger painting. Oh, my God. This is terrible. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Would not do again. There's no, like, pressure sensitivity. It's kind of ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> this sucks. Let's do this one. Oh my god, not even. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, this is terrible. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Digital finger painting. Oops. Let's see. Oh my god, this is terrible. I don't know what I'm doing. Is it a light bulb? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Are you charged at? 57%. That's Suck. enough. Yeah, jackass. Thrasher DBS. Thank you for following. Thank you. All right. Let me turn that off, actually. Um... How do I turn that off? I even forgot. Use tools of finger. Okay. I turned it off. <laughs> I love you because you have given me no choice but to stay, stay, stay. Oh, now we're cooking. But yeah, I was drawing all day. I totally forgot to charge my pen. I've been loving you for quite some time. Wee! I feel so much more. I mean, it couldn't have come at a better time, honestly. But um, I feel so much more productive with my new iPad. Yay! Just as well, I'm like getting an influx of orders. So my busy months are usually like tax season <laughs> for obvious reasons like hey i got tax return money i'm like bro i have not gotten a tax return in many a moon <laughs> irs be like you owe us money i'm like i know i know <laughs> and um the end of the year too because you know you know holiday stuff My tax returns are tax returns. Yeah, Tyler says the same thing. <laughs> On my lip from kissing vampires. Dude, someone sent in, like, I deleted it. I gotta stop. Okay, I have this habit of just deleting uh, commission applications that I'm not gonna take. Like, I contact them, like, hey, I'm not interested, you know? But here is someone who is also open for commissions, and hopefully you might consider them. So, 
they were like asking me to draw um like okay it was like a little it was kind of a little racist so i wasn't okay with it and it was like it wasn't like uh so obviously racist but it was somewhat racist coded if that makes sense it's like oh yeah can you draw my orc like you know, getting jerked off and, like, hanging, uh, you know, I, like, it's like a tree and then about to get hung kind of thing. And then, like, a crowd of elves, I guess, watching or some shit. I'm like, that is oddly racist coded, right? Like, am I am I weird? Was I reading too much into it or was it, like, you know, was I reaching or... Did that seem a little, like, you know, racist coded? Yeah? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> Did that seem weird? Am I crazy? I don't know, dude. I get weirdos like at least once a month, so. <laughs> I mean, it's not odd to me. Like, if it was just like a day in the life of like girl content, they're getting like hung and then gutted and then they start fucking the inside, that's fine. I know. Okay, look. <laughs> I'm down clown for a lot of stuff. I do kind of like that stuff. Not like practically, but a lot of people don't really order from the girl menu often so <laughs> but that one was weird so <laughs> like they were they were oddly specific about like the races i don't know it was weird it was very weird i'm like that's a no for me dog but um here are a list of artists that also do not stay for work that are open for commission maybe you can try them <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, they were very specific about, like, oh, I want the orc to look like this and degraded pretty much. And then, like, you know, uh, the spectacle being high elves, like, watching the orc or whatever, you know. <sighs> it was weird. It gave me ick, and I said no. <laughs> Very few things, like, you know, weird me out, but that one was weird. I'm just like, no, I don't, I'm not down to clown for that. That's weird. <laughs> this is why I'm tempted to be like, no more, no more new clients. <laughs> not even no more commissions, no more new clients. <laughs> if your grandfathered in, you're grandfathered in. I'm tired of all of you. Just all you strays, you need to go somewhere else. <laughs> Right? Let me reassure you people, like, anything you throw at me can't be as weird as some of the shit I've gotten, so, <laughs> get keeping the shrimp. <laughs> no more new clients. I'm done. <laughs> We're clean. They've been deloused. <laughs> you gotta be the son of an actual commissioner. <laughs> oh my god, no. We <laughs> I can hear that we do we do <laughs> Oh my god stop you guys are so extra <laughs> No, I got it. 
Who keeps Martian under wraps? We do. We do. <laughs> Who holds back the electric car? Who makes Steve Gutenberg a star? <laughs> we do. <laughs> of course I know that one. What do you mean? <laughs> The Stone Cutters, of course. That's one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> Just 90s Simpsons things. <laughs> I love 90s Simpsons. Yeah, just just YouTube it real quick. It's fucking hilarious. Dude, I love this song. I'm never I'm never going to skip it. It's a really good song about alcoholism. I like when they burned Homer Simpson's uh, underwear, like stonecutter underwear in the fire and a bunch of ghosts kind of just like <laughs> come, come flying out, wailing. <laughs> it's so dumb, but it's so funny. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Mother bird was a shame she's fucked in the head, they said. Wee, that's a lot of yellow. This comes out a lot. Time to adult. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and Love it or leave it, you can't understand. Mm -hmm, just so carry on and on and on. Love us a red the rose on the coffin door. <laughs> On my sleeve, in the eyes and to the leaves. 
This is what you want, but send me. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for resubscribing. Yes, sir. Giga. <laughs> oh, my God. There's one more gotcha slot, I think, that no one has taken yet. Ooh! <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for being a sub. And uh, ooh. I need to go see Terrifier 3. I, that's not something I can take my kid with me, so I'm probably just going to go by myself. <laughs> Say now is greener on the other side. It's out um in around Christmas, I think. I think. I don't know. I actually really don't know when the release date is. Probably. I don't know. I thought it was coming out in December for some reason. Uh, 
October 11th? Oh, yeah, that is very soon. Hell yeah, let's go. Her dad's birthday, yes. I'm so glad I introduced Terrifier to the Discord. <laughs> Yeah, it was it's so dumb. <laughs> Did I finish Soto's Patreon request? Oh, okay, I did, I did. I'm like, I don't remember doing it. It's probably because it was like super early in the month when I finished it. <laughs> I was freaking out for a second. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Soon. Suffering from success. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Save. Oops. She's almost done. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right.
All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to save the time lapse. So hold on a sec. The bees, not the bees. <laughs> See you, NB. All right, gotta save a web res now. Mm -hmm. 
Saving the web rest. There she is. <laughs> Still have not seen long legs, most of you, which is, you know, fine. <laughs> I will be right back because I have to pee and then I'm going to work on a Patreon request to wrap up the night, I guess. I'll be right back quickly. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay. We can put her away now. <laughs> oh, yawn. A big bitch detected. <laughs> I hate that emote. I hate it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs>
Yeah, I remember when that was a meme. Life saving class. What does that mean? <laughs> I know how you can save a life with a chicken thigh, but I don't know about babe thigh. Like in a literal way. <laughs> nope. I don't know if someone's hungry or having a bad day, just give them a chicken thigh. <laughs> Okay, fat ass. My stupid cat wants to get out. Hold on. Billie Eilish making banger soundtracks for movies. So I think she, I think she won like a Grammy or some sort of award for an Oscar, I think, for this song and the Barbie song. Uh, what was that made for? Which are, they're both good, so. <laughs> she's so young too. She's like, she's like 20 or 21, I want to say.
I believe it's Billie Eilish and Hans Zimmer that did this song. Twenty three. Damn, time is a son of a bitch. Oh my god, <laughs> it just seems like yesterday she turned eighteen. Yeah, she's a kid. I just remember when Billie Eilish was first uh, coming out or breaking out as like a, you know, like a top chart uh, musician, singer, whatever. Um, a lot of people were weird about like her body, like just, oh my God, why did she wear baggy clothes? It's like, because she could like stop being weird. Yeah, they were so weird about that. I'm like, you guys are being icky. And then when she turned 18, it was this big thing. It's like, hey, we can sexually objectify her now. She's 18. Like, y'all are weird, actually. So annoying. They did the same thing with the... And how about that girl from Dr. Phil? As soon as she turned 18 and then she started OnlyFans, which is, you know, her prerogative, a lot of weirdos came out. I'm like, you guys are sick, man. <laughs> I really hate, like, there's the pick me bitches, and then there's the fucking I will wait for you weirdos. They're, like, similar, but one is objectively worse. <laughs> it's just, like, them being a few rungs down from pedophile. <laughs> so, yeah. Gross. <laughs> No, it's not weird, but it's the fact that the age, it's the age difference for me. You know what I mean? Like, if you're 20, 23 or something, and then you're like, oh, yeah, Billie Eilish, she's like 17 or 18. Yeah, she's cute. That's not a huge age gap, and that's fine. And you, they don't have to say, I'll wait for her to turn 18, because they're like within the same like generation and very close in age. However, if you got a fucking 35-year-old saying, I'm waiting for her to turn 18, that's gross. That is gross. Very disgusting. Like, why are you sniffing after someone's child? Like, that's weird. <laughs> it's so gross. Ugh. Like, you have to factor in age difference. 
if you're 23 saying I'll wait for her, motherfucker, she, you're not that much older than her. Like, <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. Ugh. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> I'm just an 85 year old shrimp. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> I listened to this recently. I gotta change it. Sure. Oops. Um. What's that sound? I think they're doing something upstairs. I'm like, what the hell is that sound? Big pitch pieces. Um, hello. <laughs> but that's not repulsive. Yeah, that's fair enough. Edging at 2 a.m.? Where do you find the strength? <laughs> Guys, I got jury duty next Friday. I'm kind of bummed about that. But they said to call, like, the day before, after 4.30, to see if, like, I still have to go. God damn it. I've never been called to jury duty before. God, why? I know. Ooh. Two of those? I've never had it before. What's it like? Do the children are the children still laughing? <laughs> Is there still laughter in the world? <laughs> oh, both times you never had to go. Uh, okay. Well, hopefully I don't have to go. Guys, I'm so proud of my son. I'm so proud of him. All of his hard work is paying off. And it's like to see his face light up and feel like to have him like feel more confident about himself feels so good. It feels really good because I'm glad that he's finally under it's clicking with him that he needs to like be responsible for his own stuff and like whatever without me having to harangue him every step of the way because you know like he's getting older now I shouldn't have to do I shouldn't have to tell him what he needs to do it's like a given he's old enough to piece that together so I'm like super proud of him because he's growing into be like this very responsible accountable young person and he's not quite a man yet okay so he, I don't want to say young man but like he he's exhibiting like good 
good behaviors and habits and you know I'm, I'm happy for him and i hope that he sticks with it so yay <laughs> i said young man <laughs> you suck yeah, tv jackass. static system hey thanks for following <laughs> i'm proud of him it's like yeah oh fuck i got what he pc now <laughs> But yeah, my brother was like, yeah, like, it'd be nice for him to have something new and shiny for himself that's not like a hand-me-down. And I'm like, yeah, I remember when I first started, like, getting stuff that wasn't a hand-me-down, you know. But to be fair, it's not, like, necessities. It's like, that's a luxury item, okay? Like, he doesn't need his own PC, but, you know. My computer was just going to sit there anyway, <laughs> so... But yeah, he just needs to keep it up. He needs to hang in there for another, like, five weeks or six weeks. Lock in those grades because it's only the progress report. So I'm like, just keep it up. Keep it up. Hello. Got re recommended by my friend Lavender. Oh, hey. Love to Lavender. <laughs> Pixie. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Thank you. But the look on his face when he came home to show his progress report was so priceless. I'm going to remember it forever. He was just so excited to show me, like, the all the work he's been doing, too. He's like, yeah, I've been using my advisory time to, like, practice my equations. I was like, bro, that's just called studying. <laughs> he was so excited. I'm so happy for him. I love, I live for those moments. It makes all the frustration and the hard work and the patience and all that just... <laughs> like worth it you know to finally see the fruits of his labor it's great it's a good feeling Do they even still do power levels in um in Dragon Ball? I don't even know. <laughs> Not since Frieza. Oh, interesting. God and bigger God. <laughs> That's why I assumed. Hey man, finishing this gives me less to do tomorrow, so. Sue Osmosis, fair. Yeah, same. I pretty much haven't kept up with Dragon Ball after Z, so. Yeah.
Hello, Brian Artward, Artward, Artward. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> Ryan Fart warden. Oh, I did not spot any F there, so you're good. <laughs> Give your spicy time. <laughs> okay. Look at that sneaky butt cheek. <laughs> sneaky butt cheek. <laughs> I am not right. Sorry. <laughs> You don't want to see the back view, or maybe you do. I love hip dips, man. I got a SpongeBob ass body, so <laughs> I'm going to admire other women's hip dips. <laughs> All right, Mark doesn't like when I say that. He's like, you do not have a SpongeBob ass body. I was like, yeah, I do. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing way too much at my own jokes. That's why I would be a bad comedian. <laughs> Can you imagine if someone said that as an insult? It's like with your SpongeBob ass body. <laughs> oh my god. Laughing at my own jokes of a terrible comedian. <laughs> Okay, she's done. Damn, that went by fast from cracking my own jokes and laughing about it. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, he's like, well, yeah, he's bottom heavy. And then like two little stumpy legs, but you know what I mean? He's like generally pear shaped, which is like a very popular body uh, shape for women. 
All right, let me hide this because I got to export the time lapse. Oh, my tummy. The jelly beans are betraying me. <sighs> Very popular in Japan. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Damn, what you want is delicate. I had to remove that song, I don't like it very much. Sure. Save! Yay, she's done! Less for me to do. <gasps> okay, sorry. I don't I don't know what that was. <laughs> no idea what that was. But um who? That was probably my brother, but you know. Shader of a leader. Mark it as complete. One less thing to do. I have a little bit of time. I guess I can chip away at something else. How much your number? Oh, 60 mile per hour winds tomorrow. Are you in uh, the, the, the East Coast? <laughs> that was an impulse. That was an impulse. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I did show him the bingo. Oh no! <laughs> and I, no! I was so close. I spoke too soon. <laughs> My God! Yeah, you missed it, man. We seen it. <laughs> we seen it. I'll work on the safe for work version of this. Please <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up, Soma. <laughs> <laughs> I <hate you. laughs> oh I can I can do a penis reveal hold on <laughs> ask and you shall receive hold on they said they wanted a penis reveal let's go Could probably figure something out here oh yes no we want this one big <laughs> i'm gonna be real nasty i think and then <laughs> I have a very skinny one. <laughs> a gift for the show. Thank you so much. <laughs> Long and thin. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Check it out. How you like me now? <laughs> There's something wrong with me. <laughs> Damn, I look, look, I can watch guys.
<laughs> Hold on, I can fix it. Hold on. Oops. Let's do this over so I can properly service my. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do this the right way. Well, let me see if I can find a better asset that can better resemble a, a thing. Not a microphone. <laughs> Maybe we can do a candy cane. Oh, that's... Yes. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Let me... Oh. No, that, I don't think that one works. Let me remove that. Flip image, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Drunken clown. <laughs> oh my god, there's something wrong with me. I'm over here like, yeah, I'm gonna work on this other thing. And then I just completely derail. Hold on, let's do let's do this again. What's sensor? <gasps> oh my god, yes! This is perfect! I made myself bigger without meaning to. <laughs> this is so perfect! Oh, wait, oh, actually. Hold on, I think I have a better one for that. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. We are so in it. And then just cloud nose, I guess. <laughs> oh my trying to move the shrimps. I'm trying to move myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm a pro. <laughs> Clips I play the show. Don't show your mom. This is not a reflection of my character, Mrs. Edis. <laughs> Miss Edis, Edis' mom. <laughs> hey, Edis' mom, can he come out to play? <laughs> oh my god, this is this is so good. <laughs> so much for being productive. <laughs> You know when you're kids, like, you knew you grew up in the 90s or some shit like that. Yeah, like that, you little bitch. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm like this.
<laughs> oh my god, yeah, we have new people in here. I'm sorry. Normally I'm normal, I promise. <laughs> Normally I'm normal. I am. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, normally I'm concentrating on um on my work. So I'm actually, you know, all headed at a little bit that head assness aside. I'm actually very nice. <laughs> I promise, I'm very nice. Yeah, that's true. You guys are very distracting. <laughs> yeah, it's totally a microphone. <laughs> Stop. I'll stop. Oh my god, I'm probably gonna get banned or something. <laughs> Fair enough. Get ready for that seven day. <laughs> Hey, as long as everyone can be cool, you know, then I won't get banned, I think. Be cool, be cool. Aw, bummer. Have a good night, Spanky. Thanks for the bits. You narc. <laughs> oh, my tummy. Is this what heartburn feels like? Where your tummy feels like spicy a little bit? Is that heartburn? Right? I don't I only got it when I was like pregnant, so is that Harvard? <laughs> I don't know if it is. <laughs> Cause I don't normally get heartburn, so I can't really differentiate, you know? I'm gonna drink water. I'm not having a cardiac episode, leave me alone. I'm not that old. This depends on whether it feels like burning near your heart. No, not really. It's like the pit of my stomach, kind of. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I calmed down with the beans. It's okay. I'm, I'm just drinking water now. <laughs> the street narrow for beans, okay. Buttress. <laughs> Hello. Sure. You light it up, set the world on fire. Gonna break the rules and hearts and twos, cause that's what the baddest do. I need two three ways, don't we all? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, blades on me. Knock him dead, knock him dead. Sign of all the eyes on me. What? <laughs> you gotta light it up, set the world on fire. Your hearts and twos, cause that's what the baddest do.
Whew. I've been productive today. Go me. I owe that to you starting a drama called This Is Us. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not trash TV. It's a drama, though. It's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good drama show. A lot of bittersweet moments and, you know, highly recommend it if you like, you know, the the whole slice of life drama family type um, interpersonal relationship kind of stuff. It's not normally my thing, but it's palatable and Mandy Moore's in it. So I like it. I like it so far. It's not something I usually seek out, but it's definitely enjoyable for the first season that I'm watching and I'm already like seven episodes in. So I haven't turned it off. I haven't been bored of it. So I think that should be a, you know, a pretty good testament to how I'm receiving the show so far. Like there's substance to it. It's not, I wouldn't classify as trash TV. Trash TV would be like, you know, oh my God, he slept with her brother and then her brother went into a coma and then didn't tell anyone when he woke up and got plastic surgery to make her fall in love with him and get her out. I know some stupid shit like that. Some soap opera, daytime soap opera outlandish plot like that, you know, that's trash TV. It's like, what? <laughs> One of those in the grand scheme of things, who cares really? Like people just having affairs with each other in their workplace and whatnot. All right, fellas, I was just going to finish that layer up. <clears throat> That's some daytime soccer mom drama right there. I'm saying not even soccer mom because the soccer mom will be too busy hauling and schlepping those kids around from one extra blah, blah, extracurricular to another. All right. I would say stay at home mom and the kids are already in school. So she's really just there, you know. <laughs> Soccer moms don't stay at home watching TV. They're on the road hosting like fundraisers for their school and shit. My sister-in-law is actually, you know, fits the bill for soccer mom. Even though like her kids don't play soccer, they play baseball. But uh, yeah, like a sports mom. So she's she's doing all this extra shit while getting her master's degree. Like, bro, she's, she's impressive. I'm so proud of her. She's great. She's great. She's a bad bitch, so. <laughs> All right, fellas, I will see you tomorrow. Just a heads up, a gotcha is still up on my store. Pay what you want. I'll be drawing it tomorrow, and there's only one left in my coffee store. So, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. My tummy hurts. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out.